today we are going to see about igbd based shopper four quadrant shopper so see here uh, this is power module see here igbt power module and this is igbt class mosfet shopper control circuit here we are using the switches uh, where igbt switches so this module is belong to igbt control circuit here by using this particular uh, circuit we are going to give pulses we are going to give pulses for these igbt switches uh this particular power module and control module are connected via this cable see here this is a uh, 9 pin female uh, socket connector which is connecting the uh, power module to the control module okay we are connecting this to and now we are going to use four quadrant shopper so what we are doing here is see here there are four switches G1, see here. This is G1, G1, G3. This is that is gate of switch one, G1. Gate of switch three is G3, and in the down leg, in the lower leg, G2 is there. See here, G2, G2, and this side G4. Okay. four switches are there for co four quadrant shopper what we are going to do is we are going to connect load here i am using the load is r load we can also use rl load here i am using r load and see here what we are going to do is we are going to vary the duty cycle we are going to vary the duty cycle and what about the uh, output voltage chopper means the input is also dc see here this is input uh, how much voltage we are providing in input 24 volt dc and the output voltage is seen here in the cro chopped pulses okay chopped pulses the dc voltage is appear here in the output see here now i am going to vary the duty cycle see here i am going to vary the duty cycle what happens i am increasing the duty cycle so i am increasing the duty cycle means what is happening the pulse width is increasing the on time is increasing see now i am going to reduce watch carefully and now i am reducing i am now i am reducing what is happening the pulse width the on time is getting reduced the on time is getting reduced see here the on time is getting reduced similar to that we can also vary the switching frequency see here we can vary the switching frequency of the control module what happens when i increase the switching frequency it's already in the increased yeah i'm going to increase sorry now i'm decreasing the switching frequency so what is happening the pulses are Uh, there there is much gap between one pulse and another pulse so i am decreasing the switching frequency what happen if i increase the switching frequency if i increase the switching frequency means all the pulses are get nearer all the pulses get uh, closer to each other see here what i am going to do i am going to increase the switching frequency what is happening see watch they are getting closer the pulses were getting closer right so by varying duty cycle and by varying the switching frequency we can able to get the output from the four quadrant chopper this there is it, it is also possible to do single quadrant chopper operation two quadrant chopper operation by connecting a single switch we can uh, get the output uh, from single quadrant chopper by connecting only this particular leg we can get two quadrant chopper output now we are seeing the output output for four quadrant chopper thank you